over here at Paris Fashion Week, we've had a bit of a mixed bag for um, autumn, winter 010. Uh, a lot of designers, you know, judging from the recession and the economic crisis, a lot of designers have decided to go back to their DNA, which is doing what they do best, while others have been very austere and creating pieces that, you know, everybody has been aware, but with a bit of a, a twist, a bit of a mix with lots of sculptural details and sharp tailoring. Um, at the same time, you know, people have been trying to push the envelope and are trying to get more creative and do something different um, and creating pieces that people really want to buy and wear and keep forever. The week started off with Christian Dior. John Galliano is a, a mad genius, but this time he really stuck to um, a formula that I think worked well on the catwalk. He had a series of 1940s-style suits, you know, that were kind of changed up with a cat print and other types of interesting orientalism, which was beautiful. Then at the end, he um, had a little succession of amazing dresses um, in different colors and chiffon with lots of beautiful Indian-style embroidery, which I think will be you know, a bestseller when it gets to the stores. Vivian Westwood was a usual fun show. Uh, she had Pam Anderson walking down the catwalk in items like a tutu, <laughs> which was quite interesting. But, you know, as usual, she used it as a political platform to talk about, you know, carbon dioxide emissions while still managing to throw in some of her usual, you know, draped dresses, fun T-shirts and other fun items. Long then was one of the best shows of the season. He had his woman walking down a wet catwalk and they just stomped down looking fierce in beautiful bias cut dresses, suits, blouses, beautiful day clothes, mostly in black, but clothes that were wearable but different in terms of the way they were cut. The fabric's so interesting and, you know, towards the end he had some beautiful suits with crushed beading on it, which added a bit of uh, sparkle for the evening and accessorized everything with elbow length gloves and pumps, which obviously was a very strong look and also dark bands of elastic decorated with fur, which was also very nice. As Jean-Paul Gaultier, he had a bit of fun as well. It was very camp in true Gaultier style. He went back to what he knows and enjoys. He had his classics, you know, the trenches, the masculine suits. At the end of the show, it was a bit of a dramatic show. The police were there because we had fur demonstrations outside. And at the end, two models took to the catwalk and had a cat fight, um, which was a lot of fun. But he did play around with motifs like fishnets and put that on dresses and trenches. He had, you know, a beautiful chiffon dress printed with money, which I thought was quite fun and and a comment on what's going on right now. Yoji Yamamoto was one of those as well that went back to his DNA. You know, he did a collection of beautiful black jackets with, you know, extended seams, and they came out with white trims. Uh, he's been collaborating a lot with houses recently, and this time he, um, he did Hermes last season, and this season it was Ferragamo, where he included a lot of the houses red on his jackets, and he did a great collection of flat shoes as well, which I'm sure will be popular when they come into store. Loewe was um, interesting because it was Stuart Bever's third collection for the brand, but the first runway presentation. Um, they have been doing small presentations recently, and it was the first time they actually did a show. Again, he went back to the DNA of the house, which is, you know, it's beautiful leather, and he sat on dresses, coats, some Alaya type dresses with um, very sharp tailoring, which were beautiful. He also had some, you know, back blouses and some skirts and jackets with embellishments, which I think would be great for editorial come next year. Of course, he had bags, which were fun, puffballs of fur, which, you know, bags are his thing, so I think those as well would be very popular. Dries Van Notion, it's always a very interesting show because Dries never does the creative, you know, wild pieces. He just does what he does best, which are wearable clothes. Great silhouettes, you know, he opened up the show and closed the show with tie uh, jackets and they were just beautiful, simple colors like camel, nude, blues, grays, you know, spiced up a little bit with matte sequin jackets that you can throw on in the day, over your nude trousers, over your button-down shirt. He had peg leg trousers. It was basically he ticked all the boxes with the clothes that we'll be wanting to wear next season. Finally, last night we had a show from Ricardo Tishi at Givenchy. It was a bit of a mixed bag for me. I love the tailoring, which is what he's good at. He had some very sculpted dresses, a little bit sci fi, you know, with some tweed thrown in, They're beautiful. Then he started to throw embellishments on, you know, fur that actually resembled human hair, which wasn't very nice and covered pearls and I just think it was a bit messy but the sculpted dresses were winners and at the end he had some beautiful long gowns as well you know which the models wore boleros on top that were full of like you know beautiful couture type embroideries which were gorgeous so I think that will be great as well for next season. This is Vivia Haraday reporting from Paris Fashion Week.